Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, you're gonna learn how to model a strawberry. Now, first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag my cursor, press X to delete everything, and press one to front and center my view. Now I'm gonna press Shift A to bring in my little menu screen over here, and I'm going to bring in a cube. And now we've spawned in a cube on this origin. So the secret to modeling in Blender is that 90% of things that you will model will come from a sphere. And I say that because one of the most common modifiers that you will be using in Blender to make things is the subdivision modifier. So earlier I mentioned that, you know, we can move this up by pressing G and if we do Alt Z, we can select these, press S and bring it in a little bit. Press G to move it up. And you can already see how this kind of looks like a strawberry, right? So now we have this trapezoidal object in front of us. Now what we want to do is come here. Yes, I'm finally going to use this now and go to this tab called modifier properties. This is going to be a little overwhelming, but as with most things, you're only really going to use like maybe 20% of these. So don't get overwhelmed by everything that you see here and just know that you're really only going to use consistently a few of these, one of which we're going to use, which is called subdivision surface. So this basically subdivides all of the spaces. Our cube here still kind of has its shape in the model, but now everything's kind of shrunken into itself. If I press all of these over here and I drag it down using GZ, it still moves. So you'll see that it's very dynamic unless we apply this modifier. But for now, we have a lot of flexibility here. Now, we're trying to make a strawberry and this is looking like a grape. So I want to drag this down a little bit. Maybe I want to extrude it and then make the size a little bit smaller. See how this gave it a little bit more like a strawberry shape. Select all of these four vertices. I'm going to bring it down a little bit and size it up. Now, another thing that I want to teach you is control R. So control R lets you make this little cut in your models. If you press that, you'll see how this little cut appeared. And now the subdivision has kind of moved up because it needs to accommodate for this new, these new vertices that have appeared. So with these vertices selected, I'm going to press G and Z, and that will move this up and down. And now we're going to make this smaller because now you'll see that we have a little bit more structure to our strawberry. I'm also going to select these four and move it up here. Okay. Now you'll notice that these strawberries, like it still has this little bumpy looking appearance to it. If you increase these values here, the more it will subdivide. You always want to make sure that your viewport and your render will match because this is what we see here. And although we change things right here, it, nothing's changing. And that's because this is for the render. This is the amount that it will be subdivided when you actually render the image. So you always want to make sure that these are the same right click and then shade smooth. And if we bring it down, you'll see that it's still pretty smooth, but it still kind of has that ragged edge. If we bring it up, it is a lot smoother. Let's try making some of the leaves. So over here, let's go back. I'm going to hide this for now by clicking H and you'll see that this eye thing makes it disappear. I want to add some leaves to it. So let's do this add a cube and now with this selected I'm going to press S Z and that means we're going to shrink it down on the Z axis. Now I'm going to press S and X so we have this nice little rectangular shape over here. Now once again let's press this object actually let's name this leaf strawberry. All right with this leaf click add modifier. Once again, we're going to use subdivision surface and notice how it shrank it down, kind of like caved it again. So now let's press tab. I'm going to control R, click it, and I'm not going to double click. I'm going to move this up here, press click, and I'm going to press control R again, move it down here and click. All right, let's press seven on your number pad key. 
and let's make sure that we have done alt z so that we can enter into an x-ray mode press this and i'm just gonna do s x and then we're going to shrink it there we go and now we have this little like tapered end over here i'm going to press s z just so we can make this a little smaller now g and y to move it up along the y axis now we have this like leaf shape over here i'm also going to shrink these ends over here by pressing s x and there we go now we have this little leaf but i want to add some curvage to the leaf so let's go here SR, there we go and now i'm gonna press three to bring us into the right perspective of this leaf i'm gonna alt to z again select these part of the leaves over here all the vertices and now i want you to press r and that will rotate this leaf as you can see now we are going to give it a little bit of motion so i'm going to tilt it down this way and then move it up all right there we go and now our leaf has a little bit of like this curvature and what I'm going to do now is press S and Y just to shrink it on the Y axis a little bit. And let's give it a smooth shading. Okay, so this is a very, very simple leaf, but I want to keep everything simple for the sake of our first tutorial. So now let's press GZ to move this strawberry down. GZ to move this leaf up. Now let's press S, shrink this leaf down. GY to move this leaf around. And now here's how we duplicate our objects. So once you've selected the leaf, you want to press Shift D and that will create a duplicate of the object. So if you right click, it'll make it go back to the center so it hasn't really moved. I'm going to press R and Z so that we rotate it along the Z axis. Now we can move it. R, Z again. I'm going to press 7 to bring us to a bird's eye view and let's bring it up so they're not really clashing against each other move it this way i'm gonna click both of these leaves and shift d again and now you can see that we've created two more leaves now i'm going to rz them both as well rotate it this way and then move them like that now i'm just going to readjust some of these leaves and move them so that they're not each other all right i'm going to move this strawberry up a little bit cover up this little situation over here i'm going to shift a and then press cylinder so we get this little cylinder sz to make it smaller all right shade smooth for the cylinder and now we've created like this little top on the strawberry <laughs> and now if we want to create the seeds of the strawberry we're going to use uv circles so here's how we add that shift a and we're going to press uv sphere and we're going to move this to the side really quickly and let's make it elongated by pressing sc and let's flatten it by pressing SY and kind of like making a little seed form like this. But this is a huge seed. So of course we're gonna use um, X to shape it back down. Let's also smoothen it out so it looks a lot more smooth. I'm going to shrink it a little bit on the X axis. And now we can, hold on. let's bring it here. All right, I press one to bring it here. Now I'm just gonna press S like that. And we're going to just play around with the angles so it looks natural looking on the strawberry. Like that, here's one. And now we can press R to rotate it around. Now we're gonna shift D once again to duplicate. I'm going to rotate it. And once again, pressing three to come back here. 
um, let's Alt Z to enter X-ray mode, rotate it, and then kind of like bring it into the strawberry body. And I'm just gonna do this a couple of more times so we can get a few seeds on the strawberry. All right, now that I've gotten these seeds generated on this side of the strawberry, I'm going to copy all of these by pressing shift and selecting all these seeds. And then I'm going to press shift D to duplicate them. So now we have these seeds, right click to reset. And I'm just going to move around the strawberry and rotate them and place them on each side of the strawberry body. And to move it here, I'm going to shift D, but I'm going to rotate Z 180 degrees. And then I'm going to press G and X to move it on this way. Now you can see that we've gotten a copy on this side. All right, I'm going to remove some of these duplicates over here. Now I'm gonna go back up here, shift D, R, Z, 180, press enter and press GY, and now we can bring it over to this side as well. All right, now I'm just gonna make some adjustments and move the seeds around. Okay, great. Now we have a very simple model of a strawberry. Hey everyone, so this video didn't end here actually, but I decided to make the coloring and texturing part of the tutorial its own video. So that will be up on part three, but by this video you should have learned how to use some of the modifiers, how to model, use some shortcuts like control R to really model the strawberry. And in the next one, we'll finally get a little bit more details and then we'll also learn how to set up the lighting and camera for the final rendering. So see you in the next part.